hi guys uh, hi everyone so along with me priya is there she has been uh, recently selected to one of the biggest it company um so she'll be working as oracle dba and uh, thank you so much for joining priya here so we have priya here she will uh, she will share her experience as a uh, like about the interviews and everything so priya can you please tell about yourself about the trainings and like uh, how was your experience as a uh, like uh, how you went to the interviews and everything okay so first of all thank you sir for giving me this opportunity to be on your channel because every time i have seen you like coming here and sharing all the knowledge with us so it's first time for me to be on on with you and to share the screen so really it's it's a pleasure for me and thank you so first of all like the training which i've attended with ankur sir was really well because like so you know just start from the basics and to everything because you know sometimes it happens when we want to know mm -hmm. a concept and we google it we we find everything but when sir teaches sir, it becomes so simple like if any if i am sleep also if anyone is asking me i can explain well because sir has like uh, uh, like sir has uh, explain everything in just a layman language that becomes very easy and when that thing we tell to anyone so that other other person will get in okay this person knows this thing very well because if that person can explain in layman language that me that person has a, a well knowledge so sir teaches well because everything and the most uh, best thing about you sir i found that you are not just like a teacher who comes and gives the lecture for one hour and go no i think your classes are so interactive because it's not that about the study you tell a lot about the personal life also you tell us so that's very motivating and every time you motivate us okay and you tell that my another student got place here and every because and that is motivating because they are also grown up from this batch only so overall it was a very nice experience i felt the training ended so quickly because how that two months went and it was just and like very quickly that two months went and so always like whenever we like for me uh, beforehand i had a little bit knowledge on it but only the theory knowledge i had no hands on experience i had but like you focus more on the hands on experience so like on the hands on practice and you know, every day you come and tell us practice hands on practice hands on so that thing was that uh, that thing was a plus point for me so like uh, so it was like very nice experience and i will always if someone reaches me i will always recommend your your trading to join always <laughs> oh okay yeah. thanks thank uh, thank you so much priya so uh, like uh, one more thing like you know we have a lot of uh, viewers are here and there are many people are there coming from the non technical background also even they want to start their career as a oracle dba so my agenda is always like anyone can become a dba that's my agenda so anyone like who is from technical non technical maybe if not from the btech background also that's fine anyone can become a dba so how was your experience when you entered for the oracle db interview so what type mm -hmm. of questions uh, like uh, like how was your experience uh, how do you find it like so for i felt my plus point was somewhere like i hold a lex experience like my experience is 2 years so the question asked to me was not that high level they asked me like basically like first they start with okay what you do what are your daily activities and my questions were mainly around what is the oracle architecture so okay. like they mostly about the oracle architecture like what are the sp file p files and uh, listeners concept and then uh, instance so that was uh, mainly my questions revolve on that and then they asked me okay what type of work you do so then i told that okay this is the instant handling that i do so they asked me about the file management role management and rmn rmn i think is the most important concept because they asking about rmn so mm. like they asked the basics only like all this and import export they uh, didn't uh, get into that much depth and okay. about the guard they didn't ask anything about it okay guard. so basically like since you have uh, some 2 plus years of experience the expectation was at least you should know the terminology about these things right, right. 
and uh, i most probably it was your first first you know interview as a oracle db and within the first attempt itself you have cracked like that's really amazing and again you have a still notice spirit and obviously you will look for another opportunity also and most probably you will double your package or maybe you have done that i don't know <laughs> whatever it is but uh, like it is a really really you know uh, a great achievement because people are taking too much time to get this opportunity and you have done it in the first attempt itself so that's really amazing that's really before this classes and i wanted offer so i went with this target only and with god grace i am able to like complete within that only so. oh <laughs> okay so what's the next plan like uh, what what do you think like what is the next plan so uh, like once you enter into the oracle dpa so a lot of practice and anything right exactly so the so next plan like uh, like once i have a command a good command on then then i want to get into the cloud platform because okay. my next is that only to get into the cloud okay yeah. and what you suggest to the people who want to start their career as a oracle dba and those who are facing the challenges while giving the interview what is your suggestions <laughs> so like my suggestion like if you want to start firstly like i think starting with you also firstly they should have some knowledge like they right, they can right. they can uh, take, uh, uh, any udemy course they can take because i have right. also taken a udemy right. because i think obviously you can't tell each and everything no because you right. have to like have a course so i think people before coming to you at least they should uh, like go on and roughly okay what is this so that when you will it will be more clear to them and they they can ask more questions because that i did and that really helped in that case i can ask more questions to you to clear so i think that people should go through it first of themselves and then join up to you and uh, so next then i'm always was... there <laughs> then i am yeah. always there <laughs> yeah and that's so my like... expectation also Right. yeah exactly and so like tracking the interview i think firstly if you want to just don't hit which is your hit list company don't hit it on, on the first row okay. first give interview on on the startup or small companies even if you fail at okay. least you have that courage and you have that questions and you have that idea because right. obviously your first interview won't, won't be that great right. so right. firstly hit on small companies and then your target companies right 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 that. even my suggestion or even my experience is also the same because many times we know the answer but you know we don't have that kind yeah. of practice to tell the answer okay or immediately that that answer will not come in our mind so we need some sort of yeah. you know uh, uh, some sort of practice you can say so basically you can look for some small company or wherever like whatever opportunity you are getting it just take that learn something maybe one or two times you will get fail and third times you will obviously you will be getting passed and in many times i observe like you know uh, see let's say you are giving some five six interview and after that you will find that the number of interview questions are getting repetitive only and uh, the things are getting normal and for that we already have oracle database interview question uh, yeah, course is available on our learnomate so that right. one also people can refer and which is really cheap so i think yeah. that's a great idea that really helps people yeah, yeah yeah so how many people were there when they were taking the interview how long it was so can you just okay. describe yeah so for me so there were five people so like there was five people pan panel like first uh, one he came he just uh, verify my id so okay. he didn't play much role and then one a guy came and then he asked me okay introduce yourself and why you want to join tcs how you came across and a basic introduction question he asked right. and then the other guy he took my interview and he took around 30 to 40 minutes and okay. other two i think they were the hr members so they did interrupt it so around 30 to 35 minutes my interview went yeah. okay so there and were five was, people and yeah. they were all targeting at the same time <laughs> so one person was uh, was keep on asking and like they were very lenient also because oh. i have observed like tcs people know they don't back answer what you say they keep it they don't uh, back answer so that's a good quality about tcs i would say okay and, uh, and it was in video interview 
it was a okay it was a video interview okay okay so are you planning to go for another interview also uh, with the other company how was yeah, the plan yeah. yes sir and even i'm applying and uh, i will keep on applying because obvious i will try to increase <laughs> for the best thing uh, that you can get yeah okay i think you know that this is uh, really you know helping to the people those who want to start their career as a oracle dba so we will keep on taking this kind of sessions okay and i will definitely try to reach reach you out like once you start your career as a oracle dba and i will try to gather your experience also uh like how what is your daily routine what you do as a oracle dba you know uh, there are many uh, viewers they are coming back to me and they are saying like okay we want to know these kind of things so obviously so best of luck for your future and uh, be in touch <laughs> thank you so i'm not going to leave you <laughs> you are i'm in touch with you always but it's you who made me come true because this was a dream i also saw and with your help so no go i'm not to leave you i'm always been in touch with you and thank you so for this really really yeah for making for me. yeah <laughs> okay guys then okay thanks priya thank you so much let's let's disconnect over here